In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the focus stacking technique, uh, when you would use it and how easy it is in Photoshop to achieve. So we'll go into Lightroom now and I've got three images here. And if I just zoom in on that rock there, that's where I first focused and that's nice and sharp. And then I'll just go to the third one and that's nice and sharp as well when it's loaded up. So I've got focused on the foreground, the midground and the background. Now often I will only focus a third into a scene because you get everything reasonably sharp. But when you're focusing with something quite close to you, quite close to the lens, it's impossible to keep that focus or the, the sh have a sharp image all the way through. So this is when you'd use this technique. And I also use the sharpest aperture of my lens when I use this technique, which is f8. So we've got our images there. And then what we want to do is we want to select all three of them and then go over into Photoshop. So we'll right click and go to editing and then scroll down to the bottom there and it says open as layers in Photoshop. So we'll just click on that. It takes a little bit of time for it to open up into Photoshop. So we're over in Photoshop now. And why that's just loading up, it's really important that when you do take a shot for focus stacking that the camera doesn't move whatsoever. So a good sturdy tripod and no movement at all and then that will allow you to keep the same composition. So we've loaded up now and as you can see down here on the right we've got our three images. So what we want to do now is we want to select all three of those images and then go up to edit and find auto aligned layers. Leave it on auto and press OK. So what that's doing is if there's been any slight movement or what they call focus breathing when you're focusing on different points in an image, everything will be lined up perfectly. So that's what you want to do first and then we'll go on to the next stage. Go over to edit and then scroll down to auto blend layers. And we've got this box now, we don't want panorama checked, we want stack images checked, and we want seamless tones and colors. They're the only two options that we want checked there. So we go to okay, and this is where Photoshop will do its clever stuff. So as you can see next to our three images there, we've got three masks, and those masks are showing everything that's sharp and in focus within that image. So as when I zoom in now, we're sharp in the foreground, we're sharp in the midground, and we're sharp in the background as well. So that's how easy that can be done in Photoshop. So I just save that, and then this will take us back to Lightroom. So we're back in Lightroom, and our image has been sent over as a TIFF file. If you press I on your keyboard, you'll get the information. So you can see that that's now as a TIFF. And that is it. It really is as simple as that. So I hope that's been of some help to you. Uh, try it out when you get the opportunity. Again, it's not something I use all the time, but uh, it is useful when needed. So if you've enjoyed the video, please uh, like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And once again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.